what's up guys RC and an SC here today what I got for you something a little bit different and that is a viewer request Sean Cortese wrote in a comment on the video that I did on adding a buzzer to a tiny hawk he wrote my SPI antenna broke on mine can you do a vid on fixing it well Sean what I'm gonna do today is try to show you as basically and simply as I can how to replace this antenna but I'm also going to give you some information that you probably need to know uh, to do this properly Let's start off with uh, what we got. This is a flight controller from a Tiny Hawk, so this will look like yours, Sean. Um, this applies to not only to the Tiny Hawk board, but pretty much any Woot board or any type of board that has a soldered on uh, receiver antenna. More than likely, it'll be an SBI receiver. So if you have this type of board, this doesn't just apply to a Tiny Hawk. You can do this on any board if you break the antenna. Um, it also will apply to any VTX antenna that's part of like on the uh, Mobula 6 some of the Mobulas they have the onboard VTX that antenna is also soldered on the same principles will apply to the VTX antenna as well so let's cover a few basics real quick before we actually swap this out obviously this is your SBI receiver antenna down the center of this antenna is a small little wire in the very in the middle of this there's a small little wire and it's gonna go all the way down it's gonna come out right here on this small solder joint this larger solder joint right here is your ground that's the shield that's around this uh, antenna all the way up to right here it's all gathered up and it's soldered on right here you'll understand that a little bit better when we get ready to put a new one on the length of this antenna is very important guys not so much the length overall but the length from this point out to the end that's what's called the active element the part that does not have a shield around it that's the part that actually receives the 2.4 gigahertz signal and it has to be at a certain length for it to receive the 2.4 gigahertz signal properly and I'm going to show you this measures at about I'm getting about 31.24 millimeters I think it's supposed to be 31.2 and I know guys it's not going to be very easy to make an antenna and cut that exactly but if you get it pretty close I'm sure you'll be fine you still have good reception but I'm pretty sure it's 31.2 millimeters is what this active element is supposed to be anything down further is going to be shielded so it doesn't really matter the length of this antenna what matters is the length of this active element so let's go ahead and get this antenna off show you how to prep a new one and solder it back on okay guys here's what we're going to do the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to melt a little bit of flux and I'm going to apply it to these two solder joints right here. What I've done is I've just took and stuck my soldering iron in my flux, made a little puddle. I'm just going to add just a little bit to each of these solder joints. And what that's going to do, guys, is just help this solder melt more uh, easily and more cleanly. And what we're going to do is simply take our soldering iron. I'm going to do the ground first to get this off. I'm probably going to cast some shadows on here. I'm going to try to keep this as well lit as possible. But I'm just going to pull on this up a little bit as it melts. All right. I don't quite have it all. Most of it came up. A little bit more. There. All right. As you can see, the ground is loose. Okay, I got the ground off. And then this one ought to be a lot easier because it's a lot smaller. So I'm just going to barely touch this. And that's off. All right, guys. So here's the antenna. It's off. We're going to assume it was broken, bad, cut off, something got caught in a prop. Anyway, what you have left here, guys, is you have that small solder pad for your center element. And you have the larger uh, solder pad for your ground. So let's go ahead and get a new antenna prepped up. Okay guys, what I've decided to do is go ahead and just put the same antenna back on, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just cut off what we unsoldered and show you how to prepare this. So I just cut off the part that soldered onto the board. What I want to do first guys is take like a little exacto knife or something like that and you want to cut back. I'm not talking about, don't apply too much pressure. Just a little bit of pressure. Make a little score around it what we're going to try to do is pull this off probably going to be a jump cut in here what you're going to have is the, the ground shielding is going to be directly under this first layer of insulation
Oh, it came off, okay. Alright. Again, I don't know, I can't get my camera to focus quite that tight, but now what I've done is I've simply stripped off this first outer layer, this gray insulation, I've stripped it off, and now there's nothing but this this ground, this shield. So what I want to do is I want to peel this back, just start picking away, pull it down. There's going to be a little tiny wire inside of that. I don't know if you can see that starting to show through there. I'm going to push all this ground down. I'm going to try to kind of pull it around. All just to one side of it here. There. Now it's all kind of gathered down near the near the end of that gray insulation. What that's left is the small little inside wire, your actual antenna wire, and there's another layer of insulation around it. Now we don't want to strip it back as far as the shield. We just want to barely strip off just a little tiny piece, enough to cover the soldering pad. And there it is. It's going to be very difficult to see. Don't know if that's helping, but that little wire is just barely sticking out of there. It's probably very difficult to see. But anyway, there is the, the small center wire is barely sticking out there. It's even hard for me to see, and I'm sitting here right on top of it. So what we're going to do is go ahead and solder this ground up and we're going to solder this center wire up. I should say tin it, not solder it. So let me show you how I do it. What I like to do is just make a, a small little puddle in my flux and just dip it in there. And Let me see if I can get the ground in there as well. There we go. Now we have some solder or some flux. I keep saying solder. We have some flux on it. It looks kind of like a mess right now. And then we're going to take just a little bit of solder on the soldering iron and what I like to do is just touch it to it and it's going to wick right into it you can see that it just wicked right into it so this is ready to go back on so what I want to do is I want to line it up about like that Let's get this out of the way alright the difficult job is going to be to hold this where you can see it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the center wire first. That's going to be the small pad. And all you have to do is just touch it on there. There you go. Alright, the center part's done. and I, <clears throat> The ground shield, as you can see right there. All i got to do is rotate it over. Solder that. And you have a new wire or a new antenna and that's it guys you can actually buy uh, 2.4 gigahertz antennas online they may already have the ipex connector on them you'll just simply cut that off or you'll cut the entire however much you want to cut off to make it the same length as the original antenna and those will already have the active element stripped back as well so you'll just cut the the new antenna back this far strip the end like i just did and then solder it up and you have a brand new antenna ready to go. Hope that helps you guys. Uh, hope you can see this okay. It's very small, very tedious to work with, but there's really just two points that you have to solder. And if you can, if you have the eyes for it, <laughs> then it shouldn't be a problem for you. Thanks for watching, guys. Sean, I hope this helped you out, and I hope uh, this helped out many other people as well. So y'all have a great day, and God bless you.